hey guys welcome to another youtube video where i'm going to be breaking down my camera setup and lighting setup for how we got these particular images so we went all the way from lagos to abekuta for this shoot oluma rock is known for its history and is a big old rock according to the man that took us around abekuta he told us a little bit of history and the story he said long time ago people usually hide under this as um for them to stay safe now it is a safe place to visit you can climb up the rock see cool views and it's a really special place but like i said our intention is for the shoot so let's get into it for the first image we wanted the whole view of abelkuta and um, the model which did a perfect job the composition of this shoot was really perfect to showing um the old city of abelkuta and why she was like on top of the rock that was the vision i had for the shoot and the settings for this shoot on my camera i was using f-stop of 11 and the shutter speed was 1 over 2.5 the iso was 100 then i'm using the 16 to 40 mm lens so i'm shooting around 19 mm so it's a bit kind of very wide which i love and i'm using my canon 6d why my lighting setup was at 1 over 4 so it was like almost at the full power and i was using the um the ad 200 with a little diffuser and it got to a time whereby i removed the diffuser and just had to shoot straight because the sun was way too much and i needed to overpower the sun remember that our f stop was on 11 so i had to like underexpose the background very well while she was dark and the um speed light did this thing and it powered the old light to her which came out perfect and yes the result why the second image which my camera setting was on f9 and my iso was on 100 shutter speed was 1 over 25 which my ad power was 1 over 4 with my diffuser and it gave us this result for the last image the idea was for her to lay down and um, the rocks would just be the background but we had the grass stopping us so at the end of the day during post production I decided to remove all the flowers and you know what we're going to go through the editing and i'm going to show you how i went about it so let's go in this tutorial i'm going to be showing you how we went from this to this so basically this whole video is just going to be showing you the behind the scenes on how i edited the picture and i'm not going to go into in-depth tutorial for any of these so if you're a beginner if you're just starting photoshop you might not understand what i'm about to show you or you might not get it so you need a more more beginner video but if you're a professional you just want to take one or two things from my editing editing um trick or um tip then this video is for you so i'm just going to show you the steps on how we did and all my layer and i'm going to be explaining all the layer to you so let's just go back to the first layer which we have this so the first thing i did um with this picture was to adjust the art so i realized that the art had um some holes here so i used ai to do that which gave me a perfect result which i love perfectly then i went on to like expand the size because i was posting for instagram so i needed it to be four by five so i had to like expand the size a little bit which ai did perfectly and this 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 perfect enough she gets so the next thing i did was to remove blemishes that's i had to like remove blemishes then i worked on her hips just to make everything go so i used the liquify app if you want to see it this filter then liquify you just use liquify then adjust the hips that's what i did there then i went to retouch her skin basic retouching nothing serious so this is the before and yes the after so this is like what my frequency layer is i didn't do too much like on our skin so that's what my frequency separation layer if you want to learn about frequency separation i have a video that is on my page you can go and learn it and that's how i did the frequency separation nothing really serious then i did dodge and bone which is this which this layer here the before this is the before and here's the after so i did dodge and bone which is quite easy i also have a tutorial on dodge and bone which is actually on the retouching video you see there if you want to learn then you can use it then i use my lot so i have this lot i use for skin which i made a skin a little bit darker nothing serious i reduced my opacity to about 30 then i use my lot my lot is online 
camera lots you can go online to get the lots i'll put the link in my description below for you to see the lot and you can get it for your own project it's actually nice i have four different lots dark um light skin for any of your projects you can use those lots so i have them in my description below you can go to my link and download it why using this camera raw filter yeah what you just have to do is come over to camera raw filter so you come over to camera raw filter over here once you load your camera raw filter what you have to do what you have to do is just to come over to these three dots here then load the filter that you've downloaded already so i'm not going to be doing anything then you can actually correct it if you want so that's how i that's how i color graded the image is nothing serious i have my load already and just corrected it over here that's all i did then the next thing that made this image pop up and i feel like people love is because of the glow so i use glow for this image how did i do this glue it's very easy i have a tutorial on it too on my page um you check it five mind blowing effect it's part of the effect i used so you can get this tutorial on my page and understand how i did it but it's very easy i'm just going to explain it so i created a new layer over here then i came over to image adjustments and use threshold that's it then increase the threshold to um about 40 something then use blur version blur then come over to the opacity and change it to screen and reduce the opacity and you can also erase the parts you don't want that's what i did and it made my image pop out a little bit and you can see the um the, if you check out the outfit over here you can see that it's popped out a little bit which i actually love and that's why i guess people love the image so that's why i did the glue then i went on to put my watermark then i did this text effect the gaia you can actually check it on my five mind blowing effect i um i actually did a tutorial on that on how to do this text effect it's very easy so this is what my layer looks like you can go to the tutorial and learn it gradually so i created two layer to cut out the background you understand then i kept two of the text one and two then i went to my vfx effect and i kept stroke to it that's what i did you can go to the tutorial and learn it that's how i did this text effect it's very easy then that's how we got this that's how we got this old image very easy very simple and i posted it on instagram and i did all that to all the remaining images just some other part i just had to remove flowers and all but exactly the same process that's how i edited this image thank you for watching and see you in my next video so everybody meets you like cut cut space chop. cut space i know cut cut space i get this on greater chop <laughs> so see you as well that guy i don't know your problem <laughs> intro <laughs> let's go run it let's go yeah i don't think for you Hi guys, my name is Shea Scott and uh -huh. I'm the video graph on the set. Ah, so, catchy. Hi guys, I'm catchy. Everybody is capping, guys. <laughs> so, who do we have here? Hi guys, um, I'm Yasmin by name. I'm here for all assistants. The fashion style is videographer photographer and okay so intro you like us uh, yeah. yeah. so everybody meet naomi the picture picture guy you guys we made magic honestly i can't just wait for this god damn it we fucking killed it naomi thank you rama Kachi. Kachi. 